I missed most of it. I just got here. Awesome. I was liking that song in there. Oh, I was loving it. build a bench out of some redwood and two by fours that we have and uh, I picked up some more yesterday and so I'm gonna go ahead and get going on that today and looking forward to doing that so uh, let's get going on that <laughs> stumps uh, these this used to be a tree that was in front of our house however it had to get cut down and then I had some <clears throat> reclaimed two by fours that I'm gonna use these are six footers and I'm gonna cut them down to four feet and then yesterday I bought some more two by fours but these are uh, slightly larger and they're gonna be the frame and these are eight footers and so I'll be cutting these in half to make them into four foot sections That's pretty much it it's not a complicated design Shouldn't take me too long, I hope. Do you know why this piece of metal here is flexible? It's so that when it's put on the end of something and it's being pulled out, it's still exactly the same amount of inches. So like let's say it's one foot, it'll still be one foot. But if you push it up against the wall, it slides back. So the measurement still reads out to be exactly one foot. So either way, this is supposed to be flexible in order to make sure that your measurements are actually right, uh, either being pushed against the wall or being pulled back. has arrived and he's brought with him my lollipop. No, it's mine. That was for me. Uh, oh. <laughs> well, that's only because you build a lot of stuff. No, sometimes. You need to build a whole giant chicken coop. <laughs> I didn't do all of it by myself, but yeah. Some of it. I just gave you the pieces. Yep. And you're helping me now. Just like you did then. So when we make things out of wood, it's called being a carpenter. Do you know who else was a carpenter who's really, really famous? Grandpa. Grandpa, yeah, Grandpa Sullivan. He's a carpenter. Oh, I have to be careful. That's All right, next to you. And do you know who else was a carpenter? Even more famous? Yeah. Who? Jesus was a carpenter. He's a carpenter? Carpenter. What kind of things do you think he made? Cutie. He makes anything. Lots of good stuff. Probably. Probably. It's Jesus. Jesus will make so many good stuff. Yeah. You're right. My wife has informed me that it's time to go, and so I'll get back to this wood project later on this afternoon. We're going to go see a movie. It's, it's date time now, and we're going to see the movie Captive, and I talked about it on my vlog a couple days ago. Therefore, I'll get back to this project later on this evening. Oh, 
all mine. <laughs> you can hardly even see us. <laughs> we got the whole theater to ourselves. Each time that means we can make out. I just took my wife to the girliest store ever. I'm a good husband. My wife knows how to shop. She's in the clearance section. <laughs> the movie it was good I, I would recommend seeing the movie it definitely had good production value uh, it, it did have a, a good overall message that I enjoyed it was definitely very intense uh, however I would I would recommend it as, as a good movie to go see uh, my wife and I as you saw we went out and did some more fun things and uh, just just goofing off and had dinner uh, but now I'm back here and I have a bench to build so I'm gonna get back to work on this and uh, you guys could check it out now, for you carpenters out there, maybe you could tell me on how to do this better. Uh, right now, I'm, I'm using a, a clamp to hold this to keep the board from going that way. It's resting up against uh, this drawer here, and that way I can put pressure down on the screw. Over here, I've only put in one screw, so that way I can still turn it and have some flexibility on adjusting it when I add to the other side, and then I'll go ahead and put the second screw in. So maybe you guys could tell me on how to do this better. Uh, I'll show you how I did the middle ones as soon as I finish up this end piece over here so that way I have a more stable um, board here when I attach everything together. built. Now I just need to go ahead and attach the top, uh, the bench part, onto the redwood and then uh, set this up in the garden and this will be great. I do plan on attaching it back to it, but that'll be at a later date. There you go. From start to finish. That's my new wooden bench. And that's it for me today. I just got some cleaning up to do and then I'm going to go relax with my wife and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow.